and we are back again back to back videos don't advert your eyes yes that's a magna grid oh my god do you guys remember back in the day when i used to have magna grids for everything good times right yes i'm running magna again guys i know let's applaud myself you know Whew. rough times out here you know when you run magna <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to the video. Today we'll be looking at Siete, the newest nerfed unit in the damn game. <laughs> he got nerfed! No! Cue the, cue the sad music! No! The passive! Why? Reese! <laughs> That's how everybody is feeling right now. And, you know, it sucks. <laughs> what else can I tell you? Who asked for this? Other than KMR. Now, I fell like with the problem, right? That, you know, Siete was like core and every comp for one turn so I, it was eventually gonna get nerfed but why now kmr you could have done this earlier when you know we didn't run siete for everything in ex plus <sighs> luckily though we did have a couple of gw's prominence with siete and his all his glory he will point at that enemy like no other <laughs> and every team that's pointing his his only job oh they changed his skill and they didn't change any skill icons. His skill, his skill three looks pretty, but they didn't change the skill three though. Wait, what? What? <laughs> they changed his skill three icon, but they didn't even update this skill, right? I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure I look in this little thing here. I'm pretty sure they didn't update it. Yeah, they didn't update skill three. Hmm, weird. So why did it change the icon though? It looks cool though. It used to be like the regular ignition. Now it's like, ooh, all, all blue and stuff. Ooh, pretty colors. <laughs> um, let's look at our boy. So things that change to Siete. He gets no Ogi change, unfortunately. His Ogi's kind of okay. I feel it's a little, a little bit eh in 2019. It's It was good for one turn, but that's all it really was good for. Um, right now, it's, it's kind of eh. I, I would have liked to see him have rage. Rage four on his Ogi. I feel like that what he should have got. Um, but you know, maybe in the future, maybe in the future. His skill one sees a big change. It's no longer one turn. It's now a five turn cooldown and instantly gives him a charge attack, which is really cool. Um, I don't think it's that great. The instant charge attack. Um, he also gains boost to his CA specs being charge attack damage and charge attack damage cap. So that's really good in like high defense content. Also, he gets the ability to raise his sword sign by two, just like he'd had previously. His skill three still garbage. They didn't change it. <laughs> Don't know why they didn't change it. His skill three still doo doo. So they could change that, but you know, it'll, it'll always be good for like the little meme videos, you know, with the like, oh, how high can see if they skill through two hit? Oh, trillion damage. Woo, woo, yay. I mean, if you haven't watched any of like the GBF live streams, um, it's very common to see like Siete skill two used in a damage test video as it does have a absurdly high skill damage cap if you're able to break it. So I can't, I don't have any videos though to link, unfortunately. So I can't really show it off. Skill three gets no change, unfortunately. I don't know why they changed the icon though, but yeah, cool. Now, skill four. This was a big change, actually. Boost to all ally CA specs and instant CA standby. Now, there's one thing you may notice now. It no longer requires any sword sign, uh, sword sign stacks. And this is really big because his sword sign is still dispellable. Why in the... Is it still dispellable? But now you don't need it to activate his skill four, thankfully. So people who ran Siete for Ultimate Bahamut high level... Lucky for you, you can run them again. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure players been in the situation where you know you got two stacks. Cause you see if they got the spell at 22. You you take a turn and then it's like, oh man, the boss is at like 16. percent It's like you can't activate see if they skill. And it's like, ah, oh, this sucks, dude. I've been there too many times. So his skill for no longer having that ability is really big in my opinion. Uh, outside of that, that's like the only situation where I feel that this is actually good. Um, so, for people who run 
went for Ultimate Bahamut High Level with Siete, this is a big buff for you, in my opinion. Now, he gains a boost to all allies, a buff all, boost to wind allies. <laughs> it don't even sound right anymore. CA specs, boost to Siphon's attack, uh, multi-attack rate based on sword sign, sword sign level raid by two and lowered by two upon taking damage every turn. So every turn he gets two and it lowers by two if he takes damage. That's really good actually. With his skill one and one auto, my boy is already at four. <laughs> That's really freaking good. So his ability to, to gain stacks is almost instant, like almost instant. So not bad, not bad. His skill passive two is two. Go boo boo. Uh, I really wish they changed these skill twos, man. They don't even, they don't have no use anymore. And like most, most teams. I remember back in the day, people used to try to meme out the whole, what the scat, Neo, Siete comp with no Primark. Um, it was okay, but it just like, it didn't really do anything, unfortunately. Now the boss we're gonna take on is Medusa, I think, sure. I don't think it really matters to boss I take on, to be honest. But we'll just take on Medusa. You know what? Nah, we'll take on Yig Yigdrashil Yig high level, I guess. That works. I don't want to be petrified. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm not bringing Veil. I have no Grimnir. So I don't want to get debuffed. Uh, run double Tiamat. Oh my god. <laughs> yo, the one time I was like, yo, let's play Magna, dude. There's not a single Tiamat here. Oh. The life of a, of a YouTuber, dude. What do <laughs> you run grim there? <sighs> the life, man. The life. I don't even know what the team is, my guy. Where's the team at? Is it this one? Yeah. Damn. So we got options here. We could drop. We could. We could run four guns. Or no, we will run uh, three guns and two harps. So we're running Grimnir. That's a little bit more optimal. Running three harps without Grimnir is not really worth it. So, my fault. Running th uh, three harps with Grimnir is not worth it. So it's best to either drop to two or one. And that's about it, really. We have to change our skill. I need to bring Defense Breach. I don't want to showcase him with like in an unoptimal situation. So. Do know that the grid in the video it's going to be different from the grid that i'm actually going to run because i don't have a team on and i don't feel like refreshing for a team on so i'm sorry about that but you know now you wonder why i don't run magna <laughs> i hope you i hope you learned so let's do this you can drop this sure do this this oh wait whoa 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 whoa, whoa. the neo skills get changed oh they changed in all the skills why? Oh, okay. I thought it was only units that got buffed, but it looks like the the five stars got their skills icon changed up. All right, cool. And we'll gi we'll give the bonus damage to Siete, I guess. That works for me. This is Siete showcase, right? So we gotta make Siete hit big damage. He's able to just tank this no problem. The attack boost. Not bad, not bad. So now we instantly got our skill three up and ready to go. That's really nice. Um, I'm not using it, but it's really, really nice. I won't lie about that. Okay, his skill three becomes live really quickly. I really wish they changed the skill two though. The skill two is just so lackluster, bro. It's like what other, what other words do I have to describe how lackluster his skill two is? <laughs> it's just like I guess they don't want to buff it because of all the memes, like you know, most damage in one skill, right? I'm guessing that's why they don't want to buff it. But still, it's just, it feels it feels really lacking in my opinion, unfortunately. We need to make sure the fight lasts long enough that I'm able to use CFA skill 4. So. 
hopefully we can get enough turns here. We missed! We got them dodge rate boys. Uh, you know what? I actually preferred the boss to Ogi. Outside of the one Ogi that I think boosts his defense, you have to want this boss to Ogi. Uh, I don't really feel like a. I don't think they changed the amount of boost that they that his passive gives. Unfortunately, At least, like his Ogi cap looks to be about the same as it was before. So that's a little bit kind of kind of lame. Ah, uh, see now there's a problem here with his skill three. You can no longer do skill three into skill one as easily as you used to do it before. So that's something I just now notice. While he gets skill three up quicker, he doesn't get the ability to use skill three into skill one, which I guess isn't that big of a problem though. But it is something to mention, unless you time it right and you wait a turn. But he just doesn't have it instantly. We have a skill one up again, so he gets instant charge bar again. I believe he hit four million last time on his Ogi. Let's take a look here again to make sure. How big is that boost gonna be? Oh, we didn't cap the fence down, but he I think he'll cap anyway. Four million, yeah. So he hits 3.2 without his skill one, and then four million with skill one. That's actually a really big increase. 800 k It's not bad. Yeah, defense down's not capped. So, you know, that was also with defense down not being capped. But I feel like the damage boost from his skill one is so big that it should not matter. We'll try to save Bahamut for a one. Oh, you know what? I was a little bit off on that, I think. I was going to say, let's save Bahamut for a one big turn burst. But I think we're going to be one turn off. I guess we can use Koma here. I'm not going to hit any skills anymore so that we can get this skill for. No, I think we have one more turn actually. It's really nice to know that his skill one. I tell you that though. After hitting get the skill one for about three years now, pretty nice not to hit it no more. <laughs> so that's nice. Yeah, unfortunately, one turn off. Oh well. Let's see what it can do. Hmm. Oh, you know, can you combine it with his skill one? Let's check here. Uh, looks like it did combine with his skill one, huh? Yeah, it did. Cool. So we'll, we'll see about the damage done from it, but let's check to make sure. Oh, that's a lot. So it should be about what, 6 million? 6.2? Not bad, not bad. Keep in mind, it's not a rank yet. They, if you had a rank, probably have like 7 million. 6.8, maybe. Around that, around that area. That's not bad, though. It, it does stack with skill 1, it looks like. Which is pretty cool. And we'll just finish the fight with this. I'll give you bonus damage on this stage. And at the end of this fight, so. My thoughts on CFT so far, I really like his skill one change. That's something that I really enjoy. Um, at skill two is still lackluster. His Ogi's kind of lackluster still. I don't think his buff was that big as compared to six. But it's, it's still quality of life, I think. So that's one thing I like to mention. Um, I know these vids may be long. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying my best, so forgive me. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back with the next character.